Okay, so it's Friday. It's two days to the races. We have our first race day for our, yeah, first race day on Sunday. And like always, um, doing last minute maintenance of my car. I haven't driven this car, my Honda, in about a month. So, from the last video, you saw that I switched to the basic distributor. But update for you guys, so just as I experienced with the Red Hatch, it's very noisy. For some reason, I'm getting a lot of noise. Um, I wish I recorded it whilst I was testing the car a bit. So, we're going to make some modifications. I'm going to be switching the trigger wheel once more. Basic distributor apparently doesn't work. So, let me show you guys what I'm going to do. Distributor is out. The gear is removed. I showed you guys this on the last video. Yeah. So, I was testing out, like I said, and basic distributor is very noisy remember I told you guys a four cylinder you just need four teeth so this is the tooth the gear sorry you would use for basic distributor the bottom one four teeth simple four teeth one sensor goes to the ECU on RPM one or whatnot whatever your ECU calls it and you get basic distributor yes so to do sequential you would have to use this gear and this gear this one is a 24 tooth single tooth so this one would go this would be your crank speed and this one would be your cam speed or your home or whatever it is you want to refer to it as so it will basically be a 24 plus one right the one tooth is the home Another way you can also do sequential is, I'm not sure if it works in every firmware, every ECU, but I know with Speedwinner you can do 24 minus 1. So the home would be the missing tooth. In this case, the home can be the secondary tooth. So if you were doing it and you did not want to modify a distributor, this one, I think it's crank speed, I think Honda called it CYP, would be going to RPM1 or VR1. And this one would be CYK, I believe it's called, or something I can't recall off the top of my head. Would be going to come the come signal or RPM2 or VR2, whichever, depend on the board you're using. So this tooth aligns with this tooth. So if you follow in, you would realize that if we can get sequential with a 24 plus one, then that means we can get 24 minus one to work as sequential as well. So the missing tooth would basically be the same thing as, we'll be doing the same job as this one. So this tooth lines up with that one. So you can just remove this tooth, remove the tooth, and it'll be 24 minus one, and it'll be the same thing as a plus one. Why do I do this? Why do I keep modifying this rather than not use the stock distributor? Well, my car is not a regular OBD1 Honda like what you guys would use, where you have the free sensors, well, the wiring for the free VR sensors. So there'll be six wires plus the 12 volts for the coil and whatnot and whatnot. I don't have that. My distributor, I think they call my EFI system Honda, call it SFI. It basically only had a TDC wheel and uh, igniter built in and some nonsense so i don't have all the wires if not i would be using an unmodified distributor so and i don't feel like running extra wires so what i'm gonna do this tooth lines up with that tooth so i'm just gonna remove this tooth so whatever trigger angle i get here it would be the same thing as if it were a stock unmodified distributor right so i'm gonna Remove this tooth. I keep over explaining, but yeah, you guys get the drift. I remove this tooth. The modified wheel, you can see missing tooth right here in line with this one. Yep, so 24 minus 1 at come speed. So it always plays peace to have a plan. The default firing order for a Honda. D16, B16, H22, and pretty much any Honda, and most four-cylinder engines is one, three, four, two. So the ECU fires cylinder one, then cylinder three, four, two, when in sequential mode. Okay, so also the default outputs for NO2C speedo 
it has two injector outputs injector one and injector two so if you were to use it in a diff in its default configuration you'd be pairing cylinder one and four and two and three one and four would be going to injector one and two and three would be going to injector two but with that you'll only be doing batch fire so we're going to go to sequential injection we're going to need to reprogram the idle output and the fuel pump output to be injector two injector three and four output so we have one two and three and four so when i reprogram them which i will show you in a bit the idle will now become injector three output fuel pump would become injector four output injector one would remain the same injector two would remain the same and the sequential wiring for speedwayno it doesn't go one to one two to two it doesn't work like that the sequential wiring follows the firing order of the engine so remember our firing order is one three four two so injector one output will be firing first to fuel injector number one injector two output will be firing next to fuel injector number three and the fuel pump which is now injector three wire which i also have yellow hair so in the harness i made i use a yellow wire in my harness so injector three output on the speed will be going to fuel injector four on my harness an idle which is now injector four blue wire will be going to injector two okay so we'll still have our firing order one three four two but speed will be firing its output as one two three four right so one two three four in speed we know terms in sequential term it will be one three four two copy all righty now the wiring remember in the previous video i showed you guys the two extra wires i run right so the blue one goes to the idle output on the no2c and the yellow goes to the fuel pump so in this case this blue one, the idle, is now injector output number four, and this one is injector no injector output number three, sorry, for the blue, and this one would be injector output number four, the yellow. So remember when I told you guys my wiring is a bit different. Let's see if I can capture it. So from factory, my car does not have the single wire for each fuel injector. It's actually paired. So from factory in this little brown box there my injector one and four is sped and two and three is sped so i separated them and the blue and yellow wire for the injector outputs i just send them where they needed to go and they're not soldered they're not taped i'm gonna throw some tape on it just to test it and then we're going to go into the code modifications and i'm gonna start up after i start up i'm gonna solder it up and tape up the harness so it's a bit neater than that and that should conclude the sequential injection conversion okay, so we have the speedwayno code open in the IDE we'll be using this tab in the speedwayno code init.ino it's where you do all the changes to the pin mapping so you'll scroll on to line 1166 it's where you get the mapping for the NO2C shield and these are the pins we'll be needing to change okay so Arduino pin 11 uses injector well controls injector 3 which on the NO2C is not used as default and Arduino pin number 12 controls injector 4 which is also not used on the no2c we'll need to change this so that the pin which controls the fuel pump and the idle which we repurpose in will now be used for the injector pin and this is the control pin line 1190 for the idle it says that pin 5 controls the idle control valve and line 1194 says the fuel pump is controlled by Arduino pin number 4 
okay and this is what we're essentially trying to do so the default pin for the injector 3 is Arduino pin 11 we want to make that 4 injector 4 default Arduino pin on the NO2C is 12 we're gonna make that 5 the fuel pump which was 4 which is this 4 there we're making it 11 and idle which was 5 we're making it 12 so we basically swapping this for this and fuel pump for injector free we basically just changing the Arduino pins around so the ECU will just be using the output from this one these two outputs to control this which were previously unused let me show you what it looks like in the firmware when you're done and this is what the injector pins reconfigured would look like in the NO2C firmware the, the pin mapping for the NO2C so you see this was 11 and this was 12 it's now 4 and 5 respectively idle which was 5 is now 12 um, not sure if you need to put the not use I just put it there as a reminder that idle control valve is not used anymore and finally fuel pump is fuel pump which was Arduino pin 4 is now Arduino pin 11 that's just about it and the tire is running um, for now we can see no difference whatsoever with sequential injection but of course the white band is not hooked up so we cannot see if the there's any changes in the FUL ratio but for now it runs it's on sequential injection as you can see here injector layout sequential and uh, NO2C okay so to wrap this up the code changes you only need to do it for the NO2C all the other four channel speed donors like the V0.3, V0.4, UA4C and whatnot no code changes are required you do however need to change the injector wiring the physical wiring so like I said it doesn't go inject output 1 to injector 1 inject output 2 to injector 2 it doesn't go like that speed donor uses your firing order so your first inject output inject output one would go to one in the case of one three four two firing order inject output two would go to injector fuel injector number three and injector output three would go to injector output in fuel injector number four and injector output four would go to fuel injector number two so it'll be say so the issue fires it's inject outputs one two three four it would be going to your firing order one three four two this is essential if not you'll have a bad day car will run like shit and whatnot um that's about it ensure that the injector layout is selected in sequential in the tuner studio and that's about it um for trigger angle if you switch in from something other than if you were let's say basic distributor or something you'd have to use the timing light um to get the correct trigger angle because it will change if you change in your trigger wheel pattern in my case uh, i started off somewhere around 80 degrees and i <laughs> i was alone at the time so i didn't have anybody to hold a timing light for me so i just tried to start the car um, i kept advancing it by 30 degrees till i found a spot where it was where it started and run and then i locked the timing and then uh i just synced it from there as long as it could run you can sync it um, if it if you don't have any idea to begin with you'll probably need somebody there with you to help you sync the timing but in case this video gets too long again i'm gonna wrap it up so my car is now officially running on sequential fuel injection i have some sunburn going on there from yeah anyways yeah so hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys learned something um leave a comment down below like subscribe share and 
yeah i meant to tell you i started a patreon so in, in case anyone you guys want to donate to see that channel grow um i'll place the link down in the description you don't have to but in case you want us for a few dollars monthly a dollar two dollars three dollars whatever it is uh we're not demanding or we cannot demand um we're just asking for for um donations for camera purchases because i'm using an old camera i would like to get a new camera and buy a new speed on the board try to get a ua4c so we can test some more and share the knowledge that we acquire along the way but anyway it's getting long like subscribe share leave a comment down below and until then i'll catch you guys on the next one stay safe